I started this layout with a white cardstock 12 by 12 page and I wanted to play with the glass surface and I used the retro stencil by Art Anthology 2 to do that. I just apply um, the glass sorbet with a knife over the stencil on places I wanted in the layout and yeah, just play with it. That's all you have to do. In order to have the resist effect, you need to dry the glass sorbet before applying ink. So be careful and make it very dry. Now it's the fun part. You will have to play with ink. So I choose the Granny Smith and uh, the Clover uh, coloration spray. That's two different greens. So that was the color I chose for this layout. I'm using a paper towel to uh, absorb the, um, the excess of the ink so your page will not be soaked with it. So, and after that, you need to drink the ink. If you want to put some more layer, you can, but the dry is mandatory. So now I have cut some uh, dyes with white paper and I'm spraying some inks to give the color I want on each pieces. With fine die cut, if you spray them, they will be soaked and they can uh, tear a little bit. So sometimes your finger is the best tool you can use to apply ink. I have a touch of gold on my picture, so I wanted to apply some gold to the die cut too. So I am apply the gilded gold again on the flower, even if they stay white. They have um, yeah a gold touch. For the rest, I want some green dye, so I just apply the coloration spray on my mat and using directly my hand to dip the dye in the ink. I got a, a cool effect on this uh, piece of paper and a little gold too. Now I will uh, prepare the last thing for my layout. I need a mat for my picture. So I just apply pure gold on the edges with my finger and dry it before adhering the picture. Now I'm ready to build my layout, so I'm taking the die one by one and trying to find their place and once I find it, I just glue it. This two-tone layout was missing something, so I used raw chipboard cut to add a little dimensions to the layout, and it was it was perfect. Just raw chipboard.
I usually don't have this much of white on my layout, so I needed a few more touches of color inside the white part, so I just used two different gold and a little bit of yellow, the Glorious Coloration Spray to do that. Dry it and almost done. Just have to trim the excess of the dye of the page and the layout is done. Thank you for watching.